in this week's Blast of Wildlife news, two species back from the brink, a rare echidna love train, thousands march for ellies and rhinos, and turtle CPR? Get these stories and more. This is your Two Minute Roundup. The global march for elephants and rhinos saw thousands take to the streets this week to protest against elephant and rhino poaching. Marchers strode in 130 cities worldwide, 90 cities more than last year. Heading up the coast where a bear cub was found stabbed to death in New York Central Park. It's believed that the bear was dumped from a car considering its proximity to the roadway. Local police are investigating. Thankfully, there have been some happy animal finds this week. The rusty patch bumblebee hadn't been seen in the eastern U.S. since 2009, but a lone bee found in a Virginia state park is raising scientists' hopes that this native pollinator might buzz into the future. Speaking of extinction, after several worrisome months, a wildlife cam in the Netherlands captured video of an otter enjoying some playtime. European otters were once wiped out entirely in the Netherlands by water pollution, traffic, and human expansion. So this happy guy is a sight for sore eyes. From one furry mammal to another, U.S. Fish and Wildlife proposed Endangered Species Act protection this week for fisher cats. Some digging by scientists revealed the cat-like carnivores are taking serious heat from rodenticides used illegally by farmers along America's west coast. The crew aboard the research vessel Nautilus have been doing some digging of their own in underwater volcanoes. Their latest venture uncovered this massive field of deep-sea mussels. Catch the full video on earthtouchnews.com. Heading down south where echidnas at Taronga Zoo were spotted partaking in a bizarre and adorable ritual known as trailing. The keepers hope the game of follow the leader will lead to a rare captive birth. We're wrapping up with the weirdest animal news of the week. A researcher in Alabama gave a Florida cooter turtle mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation after it nearly drowned in an underwater trap. Now that is commitment to your work. That's it for this week, but don't forget, we'd love to hear your favorite wildlife stories, so get in touch via the website, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time!